valve open. Um, and you don't have to do anything. No. You don't have to turn off the car, you just automatically. Okay. Little lever, open up. Yep. It's, um, it comes with a vacuum um, pump. You hide it in the trunk. Yeah, so the, uh, the pump is, um, the valve is controlled by the vac vacuum pump. You don't have to run a separate wire, not wire, a uh, vacuum line up to the engine to get the, that um, vacuum. So it's very convenient for that. Gotcha. Um, so if you are running a vacuum system from your engine, that might mess up your entire car because if that fell. Yeah. So now valve open. that doesn't want to let go of the fun. I can qualify for a coup that, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't kid yet. But. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. This is this is one of one build. Um, yeah. Wow. I mean, there's nothing I can say. This is an amazing build. You you absolutely nailed it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's oh, meticulously. A Centenario. I don't know those fancy cars. I like this. I like this. Oh man, this is insane. What can be better? You're in a little pool at PCH. <laughs> on an M3 wagon that doesn't exist yeah. until now. Wow. All right, everyone, welcome back to the of Anatomy. Today we have Eric. Eric, thank you so much for making what the up, time guys? for us, man. I appreciate you taking the time. Yeah, it's beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> look at the sunrise. No, we don't want to look at the sunrise. We want to look at look this at the beautiful car. car. <laughs> Tell us, man, what do you drive? So I have a 2001 E46 M3 wagon or touring. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before you... They don't make M3 wagons. Don't lie to us. They don't made, lie to us. They made one at the museum. Did they? Yeah, they made one. Oh, I didn't know that. Correct. Uh, it's a concept car from BMW. So yes, answer back to your question. They never made an E46 M3 okay, 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 wagon. Okay, okay, okay. But now you prove me wrong. They did make one, okay. Yeah. Well, don't, don't give out all the secrets, man. We, we, we <laughs> need to watch the video first, you know? Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding, Eric. Yeah. Thank you so much, man, for making time for us. Before we get into this beautiful, you know, wagon, which it is very special, you, you said you, it. Thank you, thank you. Tell us a little about yourself. Like, when do you remember thinking, I like cars, cars are my hobby? Um, I remember seeing um, Top Gear when oh. I was like a teenager. Okay. I think that's the first thing that I have encountered with cars mm -hmm. and then seeing Jordan Clarkson talking about cars, mm -hmm. how, how great they are and they're, they're different things and they, they have fun with it. Mm -hmm. they, they are not just in, talking about status. Okay. They're not like how fast is it? Yes, how fast is it? How much horsepower? But the way he present a car is so passionate. Mm -hmm. There's so much more on it. And I have that hobby grew from that. And then this just turned into my hobby. That's cool. Yeah. Love that. Was it BMW all the time or did you kind of grow up liking other type of cars or all cars? Yes. So I didn't think about like, oh, am I just like BMW mm -hmm. or like what is going on with what type of car that I love? Mm -hmm. But it's just accidentally my first car. I'm lucky. My first car is a BMW. And my second car is a BMW. Okay. Yeah, it's just become a pattern. Okay, okay. Yeah. They're good cars, they're good cars. Yeah, yeah I love yeah. them. Yeah, <laughs> love the style. 
Okay. Obviously. So you, by by mis not my mistake by luck you get a BMW. Yeah. Because Gramps gives it to you. Mm -hmm. Second car was what? Uh, my second car is a 135i. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then the third car is? The third car is an E46 M3. Whoa. Yeah. That's and a big jump. Yeah, jump from the 135. It's actually at the same price range at, the, at that point. So I sold the 135 because I say I like NA better. Okay. Yeah. The 135 is great. It's powerful as the M54 engine, mm -hmm. which is known for the Supra and J two JZ of BMW worlds. I tune it has a lot of power, but that car the wheelbase is a little bit short, mm -hmm. so it's kind of jumpy on gotcha. the, on. Like, you were fighting it too much. Yeah, correct. So you um, end up picking up E46 M3. Correct, uh, Alpine white E46 M3 from wow. 04 have great interior, okay. so that's the charm and the love start for me on an E46 M3. Yeah. It wasn't his straight bike. <laughs> it was, it's just a muffler. <clears throat> the lights out? Yep. For us, not for them. Sketchy. Yeah. available mm -hmm. to make it into your own little special car yeah so how do you go from a sports car to a family wagon man what's up with that so <laughs> i own the the white alpine white e46 m3 for um before i sold i owned it for five years so i love that car i start my business with that car as well and then it's just a time that I got a chance to buy another E46 M3, ah. uh, a Imola Red. So at that time, I owned two of them. And I was thinking, what can I do more with the E46 M3? Do I want a convertible? Do I want a SMG? All that cool concept project. I was mm. like, why don't I do that? Why don't I do that? Because it's super expensive and hard. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get into that. Okay, you mentioned business. Uh, yeah. You started your business. Tell us a, bit, a little bit about your, uh, the business. What's the name? And what are the uh, services that we can expect? Sure. Uh, my name is Eric Choi. I'm a founder and owner of Carbontastic. We do. Uh, we focus on doing customized carbon fiber steering wheel on any car. So if you wanted to have a gloss carbon, matte carbon, we can do it all if you want. Uh, you can come over here, you can look at the product, it will be more direct. So here we have a E46 M3 carbon fiber steering wheel. You can customize the top, we call it the top center strap. We can customize the stitching with M color over here. So it's anything's possible. If you find anything you're interested in online, gotcha. we can make it happen. Okay. So we're like a plastic surgeon for steering wheel. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like that. Plastic surgeon for steering wheel. Correct. And I'll put all that information. I'll put mm -hmm. the Instagram uh, on the description so that Thank way you. they can get a hold of you. And you do that for obviously any car, right? For any car. Any yes. car. So all my Honda heads, look into it. I think you guys will definitely get a yeah. bit benefit. I hope of you it. guys up. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Alrighty, so let's let's go back to this wagon. Yes. Um, how do we stumble about the wagon? Where did you find it? So um, I I bought the wagon on offer up. Oh, nice. Yeah. Running. I'm assuming. Running. Okay. Um, it was pretty <laughs> rough. Um, you but didn't that's, care. That's the thing for a donor that I don't have to find a perfect one to start from, right? Um, the chassis has two hundred thousand miles. Oh wow. Which is a lot. Uh, so happened. This one is at uh, Rancho Santa Margarita. Okay, nice area. Yeah, the yeah. guy is a surfer. So he, oh. he have a wagon for his surfboard and A lot of that. sand. Okay, good, yeah, not bad. So it like interior is kind of rough and it's also in a, a gray interior. Okay. So I'm like kind of debating like, should I grab that one? But I couldn't find another one. And <laughs> yeah, I no wanna, choice. <laughs> yeah, and I want to start the project. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just cut it right there, pay for it. 
guy. We grabbed the wagon. Yeah. It's actually silver from factory, but it's okay. a, um, right now it's paint in silver gray metallic, but oh. the wagon body uh, before is in titanium silver. Wow, so you respray the wagon, I mean. Yeah, it's just a complete color change for it. Oh my right. God. And so tell us about the front end, what do you got going on? So for the build, the bonnet is from uh, E46M3 factory. Okay. The front bumper is from E46M3. The headlight is from E46M3. This front fender is custom because the coupe has a longer, it's a two door. So uh -huh. in E46M3 era, the M3 only comes with two doors. So mm -hmm. it's only coupe. The front fender is a lot longer. So this is actually a fiberglass mold from no uh, way. yeah from a E46. Oh, they custom it. Mm -hmm. They built one before um, that's uh, Michael's car. Uh, S54 DNA, he lives in San Diego. Mm -hmm. So before I start my build, I went out and checked out his car. You can say this is M3 correct, is because this front bumper is from a factory M3. It, it has match. to match the line. Makes sense. So this is factory wide. And everything, like you mentioned the, the bonnet, bumper, lights, everything, everything lines up to a regular wagon, non M3? Yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. They just bolt on. Um, once you have this fender, obviously the bumper need a little bit of adjustment. Mm -hmm. Um, the headlights and all that, uh, but E46 is E46. We like the same chassis, a lot of stuff. So when we do the conversion, we like my worry is like a M3 on a non M3, a lot of parts might not fit. Right. But actually, it's the same chassis, even mm -hmm. for. Uh, there's a fun fact. So we have a wagon, right? Mm -hmm. And then the E46 M3 is a coupe, and we also have a four door E46 non M3. Right. They have the same wheelbase. What? Ah, <laughs> no way. Yeah. What is BMW doing, man? That's yeah. crazy. How does a coupe and a wagon? Okay, that's that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Well, that that makes things inter interchangeable, which is good, right? Correct. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah but I mean, this is a, a lot of work that you know you guys had to go through. Mm -hmm. And then one fun fact that you told me about: the front is taken care of because the fender is already yeah. widened. How yeah. about the back? Because you make it look so, it looks OEM, but this is not OEM. Yeah. Okay. So a lot of people ask me, what's the most difficult part uh, about this project? I always tell them it's the rear and the door arch. <laughs> this becomes the most difficult one. Correct. When you look, we have the door flare out to match the rear door arch, wow. which is the hardest. TM did a good job on making this yeah. flow just like an OEM. Um, this is completely custom. This is custom to, to make it meet um, mm -hmm. the, how wide the body is. That's crazy. And yeah. that's how they know that they did it right. When you can't tell and when it's, when you have to explain it, yeah. it's been done right. So uh, to make the conversion, there's a lot more um, into it that people didn't know. So okay. I'd like to let you guys know that the rear bumper is from a factory M3, okay. but the factory M3 has a straight cut here on the bumper because it doesn't have the hatchback. So in, oh, for right. us to fit the factory M3 bumper in, 2M have to custom cut this, mold it in to fit the hatchback in. You kidding. Yeah, so, see? Oh yeah, look. Oh my goodness, I, I wouldn't even thought of that. You're right, you're right, yeah. you're right. And then the diffuser is from a factory. I just put a new exhaust in um, two days ago from gotcha. Valvetronic. Uh, but to fit a factory M3 muffler in there, we have to cut the spare tie floor because from a regular 3 Series, they always come with a spare tie uh, comp compartment that you can put, put a spare tie in it and the M3 doesn't have it. So we have to cut that floor. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, cut the floor from the M3, re-weld it back to fit the M3 muffler, because the M3 muffler is huge. It's huge, okay. Correct, yeah. And the, 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 the direction that it takes, so it goes through there. Correct, yeah. Uh, some wow. some of the wagon build, they, they didn't do it, but I, I have to do it to make it correct. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're that specific. You're like, nope, yes. it has to look like this. Correct. Okay. So Anything else that we're, we're missing from the outside that uh, you guys had to work on? Um, one thing that's very little that no one noticed is uh, if you go check on regular wagon, the top will have a um, a rail. Mm -hmm. So it's like a black rail that you can put on um, right. rack and mm -hmm. um, like bicycle rack and all that. So we deleted that. So it's an option for Europe. 
but it's not an option here in North America oh, when I they see. sell the um, E46 um, regular wagon. So we have to buy this trim directly from Germany and it costs a lot for shipping and all that and it's during COVID. So it co cost me like quite a lot to just- We won't ask you, we won't ask you, but- To, to just delete the roof rail crazy. to make it more- uh, and this, But this is from a, uh, from a wagon, right? Correct. Okay. In Europe, they have that option. Right, right, so right. So it's right. a factory part to delete okay. that uh, roof rail. Gotcha. Yeah. So little things like that, very, very clean. Correct. Awesome, dude. And then, not to mention, uh, we forgot to mention one thing is the mirror. Okay, what about the mirror? This is also an M3 mirror. But again, the coupe mirror won't fit in directly because it's from a coupe. The base plate is a little bit different shape. Mm -hmm. So the um, 2M have to custom mold this to fit the M3 mirror in. Wow. And it's quite a lot of adjustment too. Wow. Yeah. You guys making it look so OEM. Yeah. A lot of work went into it. Correct. Yeah. Amazing. The only thing that I can like off the shelf that I can buy from the market <laughs> from eBay, which is the cheapest part on this car on the exterior is the side skirt. <laughs> yeah. So you can go online, look for a E46 M3 style side skirt for a four door and that's it. So comfortable. Yes. So comfortable. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. feel like it's lower. It, it, it's, it's great. Yeah. That's why I didn't go wild onto the suspension setting. It's just a coilover. That's it. Everything is OEM, M3. Correct. Wow. Just a coilover to, to make it so a little bit lower. A little bit. Yeah. And I like the wheels that you went with because it keeps it that OEM taste, you know? Yes. But we might change it in phase two. Ah. I can't wait to hear about this phase two off camera. <laughs> I think, I mean, I'll let you know. Yeah, this is good though, man. This is great. Next year. Next year. I love the way you have it already. Squirky brake. No overheating issues? Um, the temperatures go a little bit high, but that's from factory M3, because... Um, <laughs> that comes with M3s, don't worry, it's okay. Correct, yeah. Because, like, to be honest, the radio, um, uh, oh, yeah, from the donor. So mm. it's from 01, it's being tracked as well. Oh, okay. So I should change it ASAP. Gotcha. Uh, something, like, when you have a build like this, um, I'll wait, I'll wait for this. Yeah. Um, there's so many little things. Mm -hmm. and this is something I miss out, but now I can upgrade it to a better one. Yeah, I mean, there's only so much you can change. You change the entire car and as long as it's not obviously overheating, you wouldn't run away if it was overheating constantly. Correct. So you just... No, it, it won't like overheat to a, a sense that you can't drive the right, car. Right, right. But temperature is it's running a little bit higher than... Um, than what you would want. Correct. Gotcha. should not be making those noises correct and i was like oh if i make the wagon sound like this is it gonna be weird right is a four door no family no no not with if you have an e46 m3 engine <laughs> no, you have to you yeah. can't just put the badge and then oh, yeah, that's it right. you know yeah. that's funny but with the with everything i've done like this exhaust is that's amazing. funny yeah. man yeah it makes the driving experience a lot more fun as well it's, i would think so it's actually um I run this on a canyon. I did a, mm -hmm. like I mentioned, I did a rally, a road trip up to Monterey with this some canyon run. This thing keep up with all the cars. Yeah, it's amazing. Tell about your suspension. What do you have going on? So we have Bustein, uh, PSS Bustein, Bustein, I don't know how you want to call it, PSS 10 on it. It's amazing. I have it on both on my previous M3. Um, it's easy. It's just a one way adjustable. It's good enough for street driving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love them. Um, and then, other than that, we have a front and rear caliper uh, conversion 
those cars are from Porsche 996. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. How come you didn't go with the M3? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a very common uh, upgrade on the E46. Either get the 996 or you get a caliper from a 135i mm -hmm. or from a Corvette C7. So oh, okay. it's a, it's, I won't say it's a direct fit in, but you need a bracket behind it. Oh, okay. um, mm -hmm. But it's a very common um, upgrade on the E46 M3 world. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, and the rotor is just um, a M3 CSL rotor. Oh, so you keep your M3 rotor and then you can just put on the caliper from the Porsche um, 996, 997, right? Correct, yeah, but we upgrade it to the CSL rotor, oh, okay. which is the com competition package competition. rotor so here. So it's bigger. Yeah, so it's bigger. Whoa. And then with the wheel and tire setup that you have? So those are factory uh, ZCP competition wheel um, from uh, E46 M3. So they have factory wheel um, tires. Actually, this setup wheel is from my Alpine White. E46 m Oh, there you go. Yeah. Well, they're still there. They're still there. Correct. Gotcha. Um, Which is, uh, I mean, it's very beefy. Is it a square setup or you got bigger no, tires in the back? Uh, it's, um, how do you call that? Staggered. Uh, staggered, gotcha. yeah. Gotcha. Look at this beefy setup. Tell me about the tire size. I love the tire size that you have. Oh, man. We're kind of rubbing away the tire size. A little bit, a little yeah. bit. You're right. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, it's a 265, 65, 19. And the front is a 245 uh, 30 19. Uh, it's, I'm running a lot wider um, compared to what factory recommends. Right. Yeah, and I also have a spacer of uh, both front and rear, uh, 50 millimeter spacer to clear it on the front caliper mm -hmm. to bring out the rear a little bit more. Yeah. And then 997 uh, rear uh, brakes as well? 996. 996? Nine, yeah, 996. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the front was 996 as well? Yeah, both okay, from okay, okay. Uh, Porsche 996. Gotcha. We <laughs> respray it. Um, I I make a gold that looks like, kind of like the newer M4s. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yeah, 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 I like that touch. That's why I thought they were M series. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Okay. They are not exactly the same gold, but um, I try to pick one that I like. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Okay, and then tell us about your exhaust system. So the exhaust system, um, it was full factory before from header, mid pipe, resonator to uh, cat back. And I just got a new exhaust from uh, Valvetronic mm -hmm. um, two days ago. Okay, yeah, nice. So thank you for amazing. putting it on. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for the good product from Valvetronic. That, um, so it's pretty loud for just a cat back. Uh, wow, I mean, okay. Yeah, from the roller that we have is all just valve um, close. Mm -hmm. So I didn't put it on valve open yet because we're in a little quiet community okay um we'll open it up yeah it, it's <laughs> it's a uh, stainless steel it thank you so much for this experience man yeah this is amazing it's my pleasure wow back to the spot yeah damn this is amazing Let us know about the interior. Uh, so the interior is pretty simple. 
um, everything from the M3 fit in there. Um, remember, I bought a, a gray interior mm -hmm. wagon that I've kind of rushed to grab it. So the dash is gray as well. And we have to transfer the entire center console wow. from the M3. Okay. Yeah. It's quite a lot of work because the the carpet is also black. I mean, from the donor is gray. So we have to get the, not this carpet. It's the one below. Oh man, you went above and beyond yeah, with the details, so, huh? Wow. There's a account called used BMW parts. They're mm -hmm. from um, Texas, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Um, I bought an entire black interior from them. They ship it to me. They give me a good deal. I told them about, about the project and the owner said, I like, your, I like that thing. And then he's <laughs> like, let me source it out. Send me anything that I need for black interior. The door from the door cart to the main uh, wow. car pad um, to the, uh, the dash we got from the donor. Um, the rear bench seat um, and the most important thing is oh, my trunk is a little bit messy it's, it's a, a wagon. wagon it's a yeah. wagon it's a wagon from all these pieces to this one to that one all the little things um, to the hatch surrounding all this wow. you have to send me in black you did everything every everything because I can't go online and look for every single part because this is not black before. This is not black. This is not black. This, even this thing, it's not black before. Man. And there's <laughs> a lot of parts, right? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, I'm glad, yeah. uh, used BMW parts. He hooked me up on this. Wow. Helped me solve the problem. And if I grab that black interior wagon from the shikhan do you wouldn't have yeah correct yeah that's okay so that guy kind of messed up um any future plans for the interior uh i really do want to upgrade uh so these seats are from m3 mm -hmm. uh, they're used so they're kind of beat up um they look great <laughs> yeah it's an m3 seats like like you can't it's not it's a great seats from factory but it ages, so I kind of want to upgrade them to a Recaro um, mm -hmm. Sportster C okay. uh, CS, um, but they're very expensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and buying a pair is is the thing that's stopping me. Yeah, like, but you can't just put one in there. Yeah, that's you the, could, that's the but it sounds like you don't like that. Correct. You go yeah. above and beyond the details. I Correct. like that. Okay, Eric, let's see. Let's check out the the power because I don't know, man. Maybe you just put some badges. And up yeah. the suspension Correct. pieces. I don't believe it's an M3. I did it on my Instagram post saying that like, don't hate me on putting a M3 badge, but I think I deserve it. <laughs> oh man. So, wow. Tell us what was the hardest part about the mechanical side of things or did it just fit in? No problem. So, uh, like I said, the E46 <clears throat> have a fun fact that um, the coupe, from the coupe sedan to touring, they have the same wheelbase. And actually, everything bolts on directly Ooh, uh, wow. for the front and rear subframe. So putting the engine in there is not the biggest challenge because the engine bay is the same size. Wow, that helps. Um, okay. Uh, for getting it running, having the ECU code and getting it right, um, that's quite a challenge because okay. we're missing an ECU. The source <laughs> yeah. that uh, having someone professionally code it. Mm -hmm. um, there's still some issues here and there, um, trying to perfect it, but the car is running smooth, it's driving, nothing wrong with it. Okay. Yeah. The motor is stock? The motor is stock and completely rebuilt. So that's the, oh, no way. So that's the story that I, I was talking earlier about. I got donor. more expensive. Oh. Correct. So uh, Lang Racing uh, from Lake Forest, they're a professional uh, engine builder for E46 M3. They specialize on S54. Mm -hmm. um, they did a full rebuild on this engine. Because um, my friend tracked it, right? I mentioned that's a track car and it's been sitting there. A little beat up, the yeah. The gasket was completely like toasted. Oh. So it's leaking coolant from the head to the cylinder. I don't think that's normal, is it? No. <laughs> I mean, the hat gas is like when it blow up, you should... Wouldn't, wouldn't the, the, the engine run cooler? <laughs> okay, yeah. Kind of, yeah, and choking white smoke from it. Yeah. 
So, the so it vapes also. It vapes, yeah, the, the engine <laughs> vape, but until it, it couldn't vape anymore. <laughs> so, so obviously there's issues with the engine, it's overheating, there's coolant, the head gasket's gone. So then you decide, let me just refresh the entire thing. Yeah, so wow. um, 2M Motor Work, they did all the body work mm -hmm. and then it was ready to send off to a paint shop, uh, DTM Motor Work at um, El Monte. Mm -hmm. And when we start the car, I mean, it's not 2M fault because like they do all the body work, do the power powertrain transfer, and there's no reason for it. We did all the refresh too, like we did all the, the water pump, all the bushings, everything in this car is brand new, even wow. like everything connected to the engine is brand new as well. Mm -hmm. um, they don't have to like open the hat, like because you don't expect a, a 55,000 engine 55,000 miles engine to blow up like this. Right. Um, so when we start the car, and it's like, he called me, Dave, David, is, he's the owner, he called me, Eric, um, the car is getting a lot of smoke. I'm oh. like, what? Like, did you guys do something wrong with the, the transfer? And he's like, no, I think the hat is, is oh, blown. Oh, shoot. And I'm like, no. So then there it goes, more time, more money to Correct, and it's during COVID, so we end up have to tow it um, to Lake Forest to Lang. Uh, they inspect it, they open it up, they show me. I went to the shop and show, hey, we haven't seen anything um, corroded like this on an S54 block. Oh, it's like this is. I don't like. They race them. Uh, the shop race E46 M3. They track like they do a lot of yeah. en endurance racing. They've seen it. They've seen yeah, it all. Not just daily like. Uh, owner race, right, right, right. they do endurance racing on this engine. And they never seen anything like that. Oh. And that point is, should I buy another engine, just a used engine mm -hmm. that costs, um, quite I'll a say bit. At right now, at, at that point, is like seven thousand dollar from eBay. Wow. Um, but we were opening another can of worms. We yeah. don't know what's wrong with that right. engine. So I went with them, did a full complete rebuild. We put new piston in, it's bored. The, the block is bored out a little bit bigger than before. So it's uh, aftermarket piston, mm. forged piston, uh, connecting rods and all that to go with it. Okay. So it's running healthier, better, and maybe a little bit more horsepower because of the displacement. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, but it's- You haven't tuned it? No, okay. everything's factory. Cool, you just keep as is. Correct. Uh, oh, it's the most, like I own three E46 M3, like including this one. <laughs> this is the smoothest, oh, yeah, wow. most powerful, most linear in power. Because the other two M3, they, they were used. Mm -hmm. They has quite a lot of miles mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. Um, and this, I imagine this is what a new E46 M3 comes from the feel. factory feels like. This should be it. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. I'm so jealous from the people that can buy E46 M3 brand new out yeah. from the Villar. Yeah. must be nice they're super expensive like everything you know now the g90s and the f80s are they're so yeah, going expensive. going to 100. yeah it's, yeah it's wild but but yeah they, I'm, I'm sure it feels nice brand new transmission stock everything stock yeah okay transmission was good yeah transmission okay. is good cool the transmission is uh my factory the donor is a factory six speed as well six speed okay is yeah that which is? is um a good like you don't want to start with smg and mess with everything again mm -hmm. Uh, but it's the same gearbox, uh, both uh, SMG. SMG is a um, automatic. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I mean, thank you for sharing your build. Amazing car, amazing story. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's and there's so much more that you know. Obviously, we can't see every suspension piece is M3 exhaust. Obviously, down to the plastics in the back, you made it. You know, black. It, attention to detail in this car is quite amazing thank you so much man for taking the time to share this story yeah. any shout outs so i want to shout out to a few shops that contributed to this build um 2m motor work david is the owner in san diego he put in a lot of work and i'm very picky i went there check on it a few <laughs> times and asking questions here and there pointing out stuff he is really good at body work that he like put this all together look how sexy the bag is it's so I know, wide I know, I know it's crazy it's actually um thicker than an m3 if you compare it side by side mm. but this looks a lot like it's crazy love it she likes to squat 
yeah the squat <laughs> and then um next will be um dtm motor work they're in their monty they did the full color change on it it's mm -hmm. uh quite a lot of process because it's all everything removed so 2m put everything together so that we <laughs> remove everything paint it and put it back as the fitment as um 2m put it wow. on so that's quite a lot of work uh long from dtm he's a great guy uh if you guys need anything then you guys should hit it up for that and then i went to arrow works for a full body ppf oh so full body so we've been walking around the car right uh-huh you didn't notice this ppf right no yeah it's because the work is so perfect when i say full including the roof no no one do this you're wild yeah no one protect the roof like there's no rock hitting it and the headlight is also covered wow yeah. <laughs> more details on this correct car. yeah dude you're insane yeah full body side skirt roof entire like the entire car like you can call full ppf on it yeah i love it man because yeah. i have to protect the fresh paint you're like, so ocd man yeah <laughs> i love that i i just wanted like to to be like go beyond that um a regular build you already be. did dude it's a freaking right. m3 wagon yeah. <laughs> relax question for you this is how we're gonna end up with you mm -hmm. is this a keeper in your family for life it's a keeper okay. it's a keeper okay good i'll okay. like to i mean because there's always somebody out there who's like hey here's that mount mm -hmm. and uh, i don't know would you let her go it's hard okay it's hard okay it's um it's a lot of work, man. This Correct. is super cool. But I mean, you could, I mean, t theoretically, you could redo it. But to do all this again, it, it's, this is a one yes. and a one. If, <clears throat> if I have a second chance um, to like think about it again, if I won't do it. Ah, you wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so much work going into it. Well, I'm glad you didn't think about it too much. I'm glad that it's here. Yeah. It's here to stay. And I'm so, so glad that it's in Southern California, man. Correct. Ah, oh, love it, man. Yeah, Thank I, you so much for the time, man. This no has problem. been super cool. It's time to go for a ride. Let's do go for a yeah, ride. No problem. <laughs> That's cool, man. Mm -hmm.